Hi there, this is RJ Thompson. I'm doing my first demo for the TouchJet Pond. The TouchJet Pond is a touch capacitive projector um, that you can throw onto a wall, use a stylus, and interact with Android based apps. Let's take a look. So here's the projector model, pretty small, sits on a tripod. Um, in the back, we've got a um, power cord and an HDMI adapter leading into my laptop. However, my laptop is disabled at the moment, and what you're looking at is um, uh, a screen of an app that I built, um, and this is actually the Google Play Store app uh, based in Android. This is the stylus that we're going to use to interact with the screen. So basically, this is a, a critique wall that you can puncture, and that's why you see all the little holes and, and the, the crease here. Um, in the wall and I went to the Google Play Store and uh, clicked on an app that I made and uh, downloaded it. Let's take a look and let's update that. So this is actually pretty neat. Um, you can interact with the app um, on the projector. Uh, this is a fantastic use of technology and I'm really excited about the capabilities this has to offer, especially in terms of teaching graphic design. So let's go back. I apologize for the uh, trying to do two things at once here. Let's go back home. And there's my app on the screen. <clears throat> Here's a zoomed out version of this right now where it's roughly three and a half, no, maybe four feet wide. Um, and you can expand this to a variety of dimensions. It is a smaller projector, so uh, it does have its limits. And look at all of these other Android-based apps that we can download and interact with. This is so cool. So one of the reasons why I bought this was to consider its use in a uh, public atmosphere. So we've got a, a variety of different apps here. Um, and what's really nice about this is that it's browser, there's a, a browser potential here. So I'm gonna delete all of this. You can see that's gone, let's type in CNN. Oh look, it already found it, there we go. CNN.com, that's going to load up, pardon me. And this connects on Wi-Fi. Uh, it's a little tricky to use here at YSU since our Wi-Fi, uh, depending on the building, can be inconsistent. But the browser here is the most important thing uh, as far as I'm concerned with this particular line of research. Considering that we can change this web address to be, oh yeah, let's get off of there. Um, we can change that web address to be uh, the, web, uh, the address of a website more particularly a website that features a click-through user interface that can be used at events or can be used uh, in a variety of different places.